Ryan Cabbage, head golf coach, Charlotte, is here, and we're talking uh, about this weekend, the Rod Myers Invitational up in Durham. Uh, you, you and the boys have uh, been working for a couple weeks, even with fall break coming in the middle of that. Uh, let's talk about the current state of the program and, and how happy you are with the progress so far. Well, I think we're making uh, good progress so far. The, some of the young guys have really uh, come around and, and, and been uh, nice contributors this fall and, and look forward to continue to uh, to build on that. We, we've had everyone playing well at, at different times. Uh, we just got to get uh, uh, everyone playing well at the same time, and I think we have a chance to uh, to do that. And, and when we do, uh, I think we've got a chance to be a pretty good team. You do have a lot of freshmen, a lot of first-year guys here at Charlotte on, on the lineup card, and, and we've talked – a couple times already this season about, boy, everybody has posted a nice low round, but it's hard to find that consistency. Uh, I'm sure that's probably the biggest thing you're working through right now is how do we put together three good rounds or six in a row or, or putting it together so that it's coming uh, a little more at ease. What is that process like for you, and where are you now here in, in mid-October with it? Well, you know, I think that's a sign of, of every good team is is that ability to to string together uh, consistently good rounds. Uh, you know, like I said, we, we haven't shown uh, that yet. Uh, we're, we're seeing possibilities of that. Uh, I don't think this team is very far off uh, from doing that. But, uh, you know, the thing we talk to our guys about is, is the, 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 the days that uh, it doesn't come easy, uh, continuing to, to stay the course and, and be good on that day also. Um, and, and that's something that it, it comes with maturity a little bit. And I, and I feel like our guys are getting closer uh, to that, but uh, at the same time, it's something that we need to continue to uh, to work on, and, and that will uh, create that consistency, uh, you know, each day uh, to where it is three good rounds in a row or six good rounds in a row, uh, which is what we're looking for. All right, you guys are a lot like tennis, and it's an individual sport, but counts for team, and you have to, as the, the grand wizard of everything that's going on around here, have to figure out who the hot hands are. What is the process for determining uh, who's going to be in your lineup each week? Well, it's uh, it, golf is unique, uh, unlike a lot of other sports, in that you know our guys are able to go out on the golf course uh, to determine uh, who's playing the best. Now, when we get to this point in the season, uh, we're we're now uh, you know, with this three round qualifier that we just played, uh, which basically the guys just go out and compete against one another. Uh, that was uh, round 17 through 19 uh, for us this fall. So we have a lot of information now uh, that we weigh into the decision-making process as to who our five-person lineup uh, will be uh, on any given week. Earlier in the year, uh, you basically just go off the numbers that you have in front of you. As I mentioned before, we, we're now at a point where we can look at a lot of different information, tournament experience, tournament performances, along with those qualifying rounds uh, here in town uh, to determine who our best five are at that particular time. Uh, and so that's the way we uh, we do that. Uh, the guys played three rounds this week. Uh, we played on Saturday, we played Tuesday, uh, and we played uh, on Wednesday to determine who our lineup would be. And, and it doesn't always just go off uh, of those numbers of those three rounds. And it didn't this week. Uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, different information that was considered when making that decision. And uh, obviously, tournament experience is probably a big part of that as well, who, who you think will perform under pressure, because it's one thing to play with a teammate on a Tuesday versus going with two guys you don't know from other schools on a Saturday when it counts. It, it is, and, and that's something that you, you do. And, and we've had three events, and we're beginning to see guys that, that really kind of step up uh, from a performance standpoint, uh, you know, in tournaments and in competition. Uh, and, and again, those are things that are taken into consideration. And, and you know, the younger guys, uh, you know, their opportunities uh, will come, as we've seen with three freshmen that have had an opportunity to get in the lineup this year. Uh, so far, I expect that our other two freshmen uh, will get in the lineup very quickly. Uh, and, and they'll gain that experience, and, and we'll begin to see uh, how things begin to shake out as, as we move through, ultimately trying to be the best that we can be in the spring, uh, you know, once we get to April and May. And depth, pretty much something you want to be a very important part of this team with a lot of young faces around here. Thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. Uh, fans, you can catch, uh, we'll, we'll put the live stats link up on charlotte49ers.com. You can keep track of all of what the golf team's doing here at charlotte49ers.com. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.